This study has been done by Facebook itself, by researchers from Facebook, that also shows that, for example, the polarization issue that recommended ions have been accused to is just additionally to the natural human tendency of homophily. Homophily is birds of a feather flock together. So we like confirmation bias. Remember, we like to hook up with like-minded people. It's just what we do. You go into a place, you, you go to like-minded people and you like to confirm with that. That's why you join the political party and hang out with them. So we, birds of a feather flock together. I think that's from the 1600s or something, if not earlier. So we always like to do that. And so what Facebook showed is that the effect of the, uh, the recommender algorithms to create these filter bubbles, echo chambers, these are technical terms of the filter bubbles and echo chambers that create this polarization that you know, the political left is in one bubble in the internet and the political right in another one that the algorithms are accused to fostering. That's just an additional effect to, to the human natural tendency. And they showed actually in this paper that the effect is, is actually not as large as the human effect. So the human filter out content, we say like, oh no, that's like, that's from the other side of the political spectrum. I don't pay attention to that. So the human filters out between six and 17% and the algorithm actually figure, uh, filters out much less. That's also actually good news. So artificial intelligence can help us to evolve to become less biased. So if your personal biological brain bias is at the order of whatever, up to 17%, if you would trust artificial intelligence, and ask artificial intelligence, what news should I consume? Your bias would be less. So we could lessen harms that we do to ourselves. And that is good news. It's great news. We can program algorithms, and I said that in a previous lectures, that actually do not discriminate against gender or race or something else. Humans, it's you can train judges to become Supreme Court judges, and, but this information processor will always be biased. So this is also great news that actually you can do that. Now, the problem is if it goes unchecked, these two effects add to each other. So we have the human bias, which is pretty severe, and then we have the algorithmic bias on top. And then of course, who we blame is the machine. It's kind of like, I make accidents in driving a car, but if my cruise control makes an accident, whoa, so that's the first argument that we have there, like, I, I, I mean, I, I now trust the machine. Even if it's less than a human, people still make a big deal of when the machine fails. So even so the effect is less. And second of all, it's complementary. It's kind of like saying, look, we have been eating eggs and meat since the stone ages. So we always had cholesterol issues. So what's the problem with just putting some donuts on top and all the sugar and ice cream and all the other stuff, the fried food that we've been eating in the last, let's say, 50 years? What does that have to do with the, with the cholesterol pandemic that we are having all over the globe? Well, it's just like it's on top, right? It's the straw that breaks the camel's back. So it might be too much.